So I'm watching YouTube videos and I've noticed that there's a growing number of girls making videos called My Boyfriend Does My Makeup. Why should the young girls have all the fun? So I invited my boyfriend, Dana, to do my makeup. I don't think I can do this without a glass of wine. Oh, I think that's an excellent idea. And I'm not going to give you any direction. I, no direction. You're totally on your own. Off camera, I've got a kit of stuff here and we're just gonna take it a step at a time and see how it goes. So I guess the first thing you want to do is you're going to start with um, you're going to start with a liquid foundation sort of thing here, and this is uh, Revlon Rich Rich Ginger. I just wanted to mention that Mac Cosmetics are a little out of my league, so the makeup he's using is your basic Walmart Shoppers Drug Mart CoverGirl Revlon, and I even got some great eyeshadow at the dollar store. All right, so we're going to do this. We're going to start with foundation. Oh look, it comes in a little pump bottle. Okay. So it's not just like normally you screw the lid off and you just put some on your finger. So I get to pump it it's on my really finger. It's really dirty. It's really gross. That's right. <laughs> so we put a little bit hit. And, and you know what? I've seen guys where they like put a, a big blob in their hand and then they kind of rub it all in. But with gentle, a little, a little goes a long way. You don't have to really overdo it here. And we're just going to, I'm going to start on this side because I'm left handed. And we're just going to put it on just gentle like keeping your hair out of your face. And there we go. Now we have a thing here where because it's foundation, it's going to be shiny still, but even with this, you'll be able to see some of the shine, some of the natural oil from shine skin thing go away. There's a debate about doing makeup, and it has to do with um, well, how far down to the, the neck do you go. Now, some people say you stop at the chin line and you let the neck go. Other people say you let the neck finish the chin line. I'm not going to close your mouth. How would you know? Close your mouth. <laughs> it's me talking here. Got sort of the sides done here. Again, you don't want to like plaster it on, you know. And I add a bit more here. And I haven't done the forehead yet or anything like that. I shall do that next. Here. I've got she's she's got bangs, so this is kind of tricky. This is um, a foundation to even to even everything, right? So it's not supposed to be like a mask. We're not quite done yet, but we're getting awfully close. We just started. I know. No, I meant of this part. Oh, all right. The first part. This is like overdone. We're looking a little masky there. That's not good. There you go. <laughs> it's even, and that's important. Get closer and show them it's even. See, it's sort of even. Meh. First step, not bad. Okay. Now, see, I got crap on my hands, so I'm going to take one of these little wipey things here. This. This is what you put on your face every day. All right. That's step number one. Always put the cap back on when you're done using the stuff. You don't want it to spill. Okay. All right, what do we got here? Um, some of this powder stuff is probably the next next thing. Yeah, but, 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 because you're going to do eyes later, you don't want to get it all over eyebrows or, you know, eyelids and crap like that because other stuff is going to go in there. Hope I'm doing this right. Hope I'm doing this right. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it looks. All right. This is a brush magic and i'm gonna use this brush and i hope i don't wreck your brush you see so often i watch this and like in but i never really watch it so i'm kind of i'm kind of guessing <laughs> you're having fun with this aren't you <laughs> i'm loving it we got a shine thing going on here so we're gonna try and get rid of some, rid of some of that shine and don't blow on the brush right. you can tap it get excess off i've seen that done in the movies so it must be true oh look at that that shine's going away oh my goodness OMG, the shine's going away. It's so good. Close your mouth. I don't want to get this in your mouth accidentally. That would just be wrong. All right. This has to go, this shine. You can't have this shine all over. It's just wrong. All right, and I'm, I'm not getting it in the eyes or in the eyelids. Okay. Now, I know there's probably some sequence you're supposed to do this in, but I don't know what that sequence is. Clearly. Keep your mouth shut. I told you now. <laughs> yep. I got the spot. Okay. It's hard to tell, but the shine has gone off a little bit. They call this the T zone. I learned that from her. So, and it's 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 where the oils come. She doesn't have all like a lot of oils on her face and stuff. But I got all that creamy stuff on there. I gotta make math. Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah, it's all right. Okay. 
Now I don't know what to do next. Um, <laughs> let's let's do eyes. Eyes are always scary. Do you do the eyelashes first, or do you do the eyelid thing first? And then where does the liner fit into all the game? Because I got liner here too. Yes, I do. Eyeshadow. It's called eyeshadow. This stuff. And it, this is sort of like the beigey brownie range. And then you got then you got the wild eyes. You know. Men love women with smoky eyes, with the smoky colors and stuff, like the grays and the silvers and all that kind of stuff. I'm actually going to go for the more natural look. They give you this little crappy little thing that you got to work with. Not meant for man hands. It's very gentle and delicate. So, And of course the next question is, usually you use more than one color. So do you put the dark color on the bottom and the light color on the top or what do you want to do here? And you know what? I don't have the slightest idea which one goes first. I can hazard a guess though because there's a lot more missing here than there is here. Which means you probably use more of that darker color and less of the light color. That's just my guess. Oh man, I hope I'm right. Okay. So we're gonna put a little bit of the dark stuff closest to the eyelash. And again, when guys are doing the makeup videos, they overdo it. They put it like way out, out to here. Like that's just stupid. Like, you know, look at a woman sometime. What woman actually wears that stuff all the way out like to the side of the eye like that? This eye coming up. You're a very good model. Thank you. Yes. Crap, a little goes a long way. And we're going to go lighter here. Um, oh, I see one that's kind of a little bit like that. We're going to do that one. This is all brown and crappy, but I'm going to use it anyway. Even though I got a lighter color. I know that's probably just wrong, but so what? Yeah, do a lot of it there. Okay. Close. Good. Ooh, holy crap. Eek. Now, I think the idea is it's supposed to be kind of a continuous blend, and I'm doing a crappy job of that. The side. Thank you. Oh, that's very good. You turn to the camera. That's good. Open your eyes. Kind of works, sort of. Best video I saw of this is the guy did the. Close your eyes. The guy did the eye. Smoky eye right up to the eyebrow. It looked clown-like, scary-like. All right, I'm actually gonna stop there. I'm not gonna overdo it. Eyeliner or eyelash stuff, and because I don't want to get eyelash stuff mascara all over my hands while I'm working on this, I'm actually gonna do the liner first. Now this is a cool thing. It's got it's got the liner thing there, like the the pen in, and and it's oops. If I if I don't break it. <laughs> It's got this little rubber thing that you mush it with, but you notice that that's never been used, which is a clue to me that this is not normally used on a day-to-day -day basis, so don't try that at home. So, close your eyes. And my baby has the most amazing eyes. Mm. You don't need anything extra, you can just be who you are. Mm. So, the name of this game is to be very, very gentle. And again, none of this, as I mentioned earlier, none of this going out to the edges unless you're going out to like the golf club or something. I like this pencil. It doesn't, it actually goes on. It doesn't like, I don't have to like rub it in her eye to get it on. It goes on the way it's supposed to. Uh, just keep your eyes shut for a moment. Shut for a moment. Okay, open them up. I think I'm getting somewhere. Show them, show them what you got. It's a start, close, close your eyes. Open them up. I'm getting there, okay. We're not done yet. We've got mascara and last but not least, the lip thing at the end, okay. Mascara. She doesn't have a lot of lower lashes, so I'm just gonna do the upper ones. And I'm gonna use the stuff that's called Grow Luscious Plumping Mascara. Another fine Revlon product. It, um, oh, there, you have to unscrew it. Uh, it um, plumps them up. That is the world's second longest mascara brush I've ever seen in my life. Normally, like half that long. How do you work this thing? And then you get the curvy ones too that I've seen on TV. To do this, how would that work? You'd have to look. I'm going to look down, but leave your eyes open. That's, that's perfect, see? Now what that does, she looks down, but the eyelashes come up and they separate from her eyes so I don't poke her in the eye accidentally. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's a good outtake. <laughs> now 
as I was going to say, what I should be having is my reading glasses on so I can see what the hell I'm doing because I can't see close work and I end up poking her in the eye. Let me have a look at you here. No permanent damage. It's good. All right. And I get to the other side and this is... <laughs> it's left-handed. What can I say? <laughs> I'm really messing this up. Okay. That's... Oh, no. That's just dangerous. I'm going to have to do it this way. <laughs> no, you do this way. There. Okay, that works. For you. It's, it's, it's the inside that causes the trouble, doesn't it? All right, here we go. Just keep them closed. That's good. I did better than I thought, actually. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's okay. It's like, it's what it is, you know. I don't think I got the plumping action quite right, you know. Like, I don't, it's, it's plumping and it's not quite working like that. But I think another thing to remember is you probably aren't supposed to overdo this because it looks like a uh, crappy. What other damage can I do here? Okay, so I got the upper eyelash thing going here with the mascara, but you know what, because because her eyelashes are kind of minimal down there, I'm actually going to go back to this thing and add a little bit of liner. Similar to what I did at the top, again, a little goes a long way. So, I'm going to start with this side, and oh, that's perfect. Look at that, she instinctively looked up. I love it. Guys like to like make the lines join in the middle. They shouldn't join in the middle, there should be a little gap there, top and bottom. So, the, the outside corner, well, a little bit closer for sure. Okay, not my best work, but it does look not too bad. We have this stuff here called concealer, and I'm not exactly sure what it does, but what I think it does, it conceals the stuff under your eyes, like the little, the little, the little shadows and whatevers. She doesn't have any, she looks great. She doesn't need to be concealed. <laughs> I can't even get the damn thing open. Is it, is it? Sorry. Oh, oh, there. Hey, look at that. It's like a little felt tip pen, all right? It's a little felt tip pen. It's like a highlighter for skin. Oh, neat. It lightens things up. Okay, you look like a football player in reverse, so I need to blend that in a little bit. I gotta get me some of this shit. It looks great. All right, this side. Wow. Okay, that looks good. Tell me something, like, how am I doing so far? I don't know, I can't see it. Oh, okay. We'll have to get you a mirror at the You end. tell me, how, how are you doing so far? I think, I think it's sort of working okay. Now the magic that makes every man go wild is lipstick. And you do that, thank you. That's perfect. It's like drawing with a crayon. <laughs> okay, let's do the bottom. I'm going to use a pointy side here. And above all, you don't want to laugh while somebody's putting this on. <laughs> wow. I actually don't think I overdid it too badly. Everybody, every man thinks that women's lips look like this. You know, with a big thing at the top. But it, that that's called a bow, and I uh, and you, and that apparently one of the key secrets is you don't overdo the bow. We're getting near the end of our exciting episode here. I got lipstick on her, and we've got this stuff called lip gloss. Ah, ah! It's coming out on its own. It just it pops out. It's very strange. Maybe it's under pressure. I don't know. I see her put this on about five times a day. Actually, I see her put it on five times a day. She probably puts it on more often than that. And I still don't know how this stuff goes on. Okay, that looks like crap. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's not bad. This is one side. Just look up. There we go. Well, that's that's the top part. <laughs> let me see what I can... So let's see what damage I can do to the bottom part. Let's have a look. I think I screwed up the lips. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know what? As a kid, I was never good about coloring inside the lines, and I think this is kind of proof of that. Um, we need we need a little bit of uh, cleaning up here. Um, I got the lip stuff on, and I and one thing I actually I think I forgot earlier was was blush. This stuff's blush. I think you should put this on with a brush. 
But I used a brush already, and I'm going to probably just, I only have one brush. So I don't think I'm going to contaminate the brush. Don't ever use the same brush, I don't think. There's a lot. <laughs> Go ahead. I don't want to make it look like an old lady with too much blush. i got to be very subtle here. No great big lines, just a little bit of an, a little bit of an accent. <gasps> look at, see, you can see the accent. That's good. That's the other side. I can't believe I watch you do this every morning and I have no idea what you do. I think, yeah, I think that's kind of, I'm going to stop with that now. Okay. Okay. Let's see how it looks. Let's see how it looks. Wow. Hair down. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I've got a brush. I've got a brush. <laughs> you, you better do this part. I don't know what this is. I'm going to hurt somebody if I brush her hair, and it's going to be her I hurt accidentally, it's and it's just wrong. It's just wrong. All right, wrong. good enough. All right. Um, wow. Do you have a mirror? Yeah. Hang on, I'll get a mirror. All right, I got a mirror. So this is now the moment of truth. Have a look. Tell me what you think. Let's see. I think he did a very good job. <laughs> now I'm ready to go out on a date. I don't know. Who knew? <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> see, older people can have fun too. Yeah. So anyway, go out and try this on your own uh, in the privacy of your own home and um, good luck. Are we done? We're done. Okay. Bye. <laughs>